Hello everybody, it is Prodigy Queen again, and in this Prodigy video, we're going to be looking at the huge Prodigy pet update that Prodigy just released 2020. Now, before we begin this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like button and smash the notification bell so you will not miss out on any of my awesome Prodigy videos. Okay, so just so you can hear me a little bit more better, I'm just going to just increase the volume a little bit over there. Okay, so now let's get straight into it. Oh, and also, by the way, before we start the update, I hit the dragon another place today, and so you guys will be guessing where it is, and at the end of the video, I'll be revealing the hiding spot. Okay, so the um, Prodigy just, really just um, in the live stream, they said that they would be updating some... Um, pets and so the ember shed was the most one i was excited about so let's go ahead and check those pets out so the so the number one thing on our list is the squawks let's get straight into it so if the squawks is updated then the tribeek must be too and if the ember shed is updated so must the burn nude the singe nude the infer nude and all these other things and the bit bot was also updated and so was the bash bot and batter bot and um, there's so many other more pets that I can't keep track of. Cloud Dibbler, Cloud Gobbler, Squibble, Squabble, Squabble, all those pets. Let's just go ahead and just keep looking on. Let's get let's dive into it. And let's do a double dragon dive into it. Yeah. Hope, luckily the Terrigan was not updated. Phew. Okay, here we are, guys. Here is the squawks. So before, it used to be this bird-looking thing with a head and a beak, and it just didn't look much enthusiastic. But over here, it, there's the bird with the same head except rounder, bigger, and more excited, and much prettier, and like more colorful, and um, bigger wings, and a um, lot cuter. Let's read the description now. Oh, also it has this pop belly looking thing. I like that. It makes this thing super cute, and a kind of like um, a rough um, crest. Well, let's read the description. It's tough being a bird with no legs or body, but squawks never complain or get tired. So this is the exact same description as before. Well, let's look at the stats. It's still exactly half power, half heart. Storm element pet and evolves at level 23 into the evolved tribeek. So the evolved tribeek is three, um, uh, three squawks, except that they're not all excited. This one is excited, so is this one, but this one's like, ugh, can we get on with this, please? And they have incredibly, these ones have inc incredibly long tailed. Wow, that's super cool. And their wings are like a lot more uh, butterfly-ish. Now let's go ahead and look at the next description on our list. Ember Shed, or rather, Cloud Nibbler. Let's look at the Cloud Nibbler, because that's the next one on the list. Woohoo! Go Cloud Nibbler! I love nibbling on clouds. But after that, we're going to look at the Cloud Gobbler, which gobbled clouds. I think I'd rather gobble up clouds than nibble them, because, you know, they're nice and fluffy and soft. Woohoo! But first, we get a better go look at the Cloud updated Cloud Nibbler and Gobbler. Perhaps they've become kinder, and they'll be offer me some cloud tacos. Yummy! Okay, let's get let's get to the cloud nibbler. Now I was expecting something more better. The cloud nibbler kind of kind of looks like an old grandfather with these keen eyes, those like tufts of hair, and the bald um spot, and like the um um striped underbelly and soft fins and the lowly tail. Yeah, it kind of looks like a grandfather instead of a cloud nibbler, but because of the horn and the fish shape, and it's not. Now let's read the description. Due to their size and shape. Cloud nibblers are often mistaken for balloons, floating among the clouds, among the clouds. Okay, so this probably, this description I think changed, I'm not really sure. But let's go ahead and look at the stats. It has a lot more hearts than power, that's not a, that didn't change. Storm element pet evolves at level 26 into cloud gobbler, which looks like, um, more like a grandfather, but like, more unclish, I don't know. Okay, and it kind of looks half devil too, and half fish, half uncle, half grandfather, and half pelvis fin. You get what I mean? Okay, now let's read the description and then get on to the next pet. Cloud gobblers live off the moisture in the clouds, flying around with their mouths open, chomping on the open air. Oh, that's pretty cool. You chomp on open air. What's that's, what does that taste like? Now let's go ahead and look at the next description. I think it's the most exciting one. The Ember Shed. But I may be wrong. You never know. 
Okay, guys, so I wasn't right. Like, I liked in the burn nude part, but it still evolves in the ember shed, so that's kind of fair. Okay, now I don't want to spoil it all. So th this is what the burn nude looks like. It looks real kind of silly. Like, I kind of liked the before one, but this is still cute. It looks a lot more cuter now. So, um, this burn nude still has the pot holds on its back, like a boiling teapot in the description, it says. It has this large feathery tail, which will get burned if it bro blows fire, but it may be fireproof and not fluffy. It's like fluffy and feathery and it has these like frankenstein looking ears and some horns and a sweet tongue and some lava nose and its eyes are like sideways just like a real lizard now let's read the description or, or like a re real newt burn newt or or infer newt okay Though slow moving, the burn newt can emit bursts of steam to ward off attackers like a boiling teapot. Mmm, I can go for I can go from chamomile tea right now. I don't know if that's even how you pronounce it. Okay, so here is the singe nude. So it's like it looks like this is this entire thing is evolving. So it changed color, you know, because it's molting and like growing. Now it looks more like a dragon. So it has these dragon-like ears, and its eyes. It has kind of like an eyelash and horns and um, a chomping-looking mouth here, and a stubby-looking body with a stubby tail. And it's still very cute. Oh, I'm not. I don't know. I think this entire cycle changed, but I'm not sure if I really like it. Yeah, it's okay. Now, well, now let's read the description. Over time, a burn nude's body becomes hotter and hotter, changing it into a singe nude. Okay, okay, okay. So it has more power, less hearts, fire open pet, and evolves at level 30 into the hot infernute. So the infernute is a dragon, basically. So, um, wait a minute. In the description, it says a to totally different story. Mm. But, no, because his arm looks like it's kind of attached to its wing, but I don't think that's true. So, so it, I'm guessing it's a dragon, just like, I think it's the ember shade, except thinner and less fatter. Well, not to, not to, like, um, I'm not to, like... Like, um, I don't know how you say, not to like off offend you, Mr. Embershed. Okay, so this, um, Infernew, he has bigger ears and it looks less crazy. Some serious looking eyes there. Oh, yay, Mr. Eyebrow Bushy. And has some nice sharp horns, a long tail, some sweet wings. I love to fly, it sprouted wings, and went through the molt. Okay, now let's read the description. Infernutes are often mistaken for baby dragons in the mountains, but cannot fly, roar, or breathe fire. Okay, so this isn't a dragon. It's like half dragon, or it looks like a dragon, but it has no dragon-like traits. Okay, so it still has the same amount of power and um, element, but it evolves at level 45 into the Ember Shed, which is so a dragon. Okay, so Ember Sheds are rare in the mountains as they spend most of their lives reading and perfecting many languages. So, so the Ember Shed stopped that devil um, face and it's like, dun, dun, dun. A devil eye is gone. And it has this like same scalp looking thing, but except that it has more color. And it, and it has fire on its tail. Whoa. Now, let's, we're going to be looking at the Ember Shed and a few other pets attacking today. But we're not going to do all the pets, so that would be too long. Okay, now let's go ahead and look at the next pet on our list. Is it Bitbot? Is it Bashbot? Who knows? Is it Squibble? Is it Squabble? Is it Squabble? Or is it s or Squibble, Squabble, or Squirrel? Who knows? Let's go ahead and check it out. Alright guys, so it turns out that that was wrong. Now there's an Evolotus on the list. I can barely even recognize this thing. Well, um... Now this does look—it looks like, look like a half snake and half dragon because of its tail, and it even has a gem in the middle. So, and it looks has the same expression as the ember shed and for new a little same though. Okay, okay, strange. The description didn't change. Well, it's Evolotus ev can still fly though. It says soar like bro brows and sting like bees. Okay, I get the stinging part. It may have some poison on the tip of its tail, or its gem may be a little bit like shooting rays of poison, or like hurting others that try to harm them. But like, um, they it looks a little more colorful. Well. Not much. It looks more like a snake than an Evolotus, and they cannot fly, or unless it can ride the wind or something. But they don't. It doesn't look like a flower anymore. I think Prodigy is still updating the description. I don't know. Okay, here's the Prodraxis. So the Prodraxis looks like a mother Prodraxis trying to guard its eggs. So so professional. Like, oh yeah, when are they gonna come out? Okay, it has three spines. Um, 
and one one larger plate on its back and a few that you can't see behind its neck and a golden tail and it's so cute but how can this be abandoned by an ice dragon it doesn't even look like a dragon well a little bit in the head yes and um it has nice horns and a gentle expression except that it'll sting 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 it's it's um death breath or frost breath whatever you call it against the predator okay now let's go ahead and look at the next pet on our list what is it what is it drum roll please well let's check it out ourselves no done drum roll please let's go ahead and check out the pet ourselves so the next item on our list is a squibble. Well, the squibble was a lot cuter before. And um, by the way, Prodigy forgot to update something. Dun, dun, dun. Do you guys see it? Okay, if you don't, first let's look at it. So here is that there's a stripe on its forehead. And instead, instead of like the gem that used to be there, two ovals, brown muddy spots, I'm guessing, and tiny tentacles, and it's a lot less cuter. And the description, the gem, gem, gem on the squibble's head is known to be good luck and is often the target of fishermen. Where's the gem, gem, gem? There's no more gem anymore. Well, th there's a gem on the squabble and gem on the squirrel, but there's no gem on the description gems. Okay, so here is the squabble. Oh, by the way, we forgot to leave the description. More power than hearts. Whoa, how did that get so much power? I'm just imagining things. It's a water element pet and it evolves at level 17 into squabble. Now, Squabble is a lot less cuter, and it has this, like, um, dragon-looking tail and two tentacles, and kind of looks like a manta ray on the bottom. But instead, it has this, like, um, beaky mouth and, like, a kind of, like, an armor shield horn and some frills. And it has, like, this diamond one single shape there. Aw, so cute. Well, I take that back. The Squabbles, unlike Squibbles, are known to challenge other Squabbles over territory and favorite sports teams. Okay, so this is a so cute. It has two of these dragon looking thingies, which they, they call pads when you draw some squids or um, octopuses, whatever you call them. And they use these to like poison or grab onto things, I'm guessing. And it has this so cute beak, aww, and a long horn. And it looks more blessed like a squid and like a helmet. Okay, so I love the, de I love the description. A squirrel spends Sundays squabbling with squibbles and Saturdays skulking with squabbles. Okay, so this is a tongue twister. I try to say this five times fast. A squirrel spends Sundays squabbling with squibbles and Sundays... <laughs> I'm going crazy. Okay, a squirrel spends Sundays squabbling with squibbles and Saturdays skulking with squabbles. A squirrel spends Sundays squabbling with squibbles and Saturdays skulking with squabbles. A squirrel spends Sundays squabbling with squibbles and Saturdays squabbling with... <laughs> Okay, this is a real tongue tongue twister, and if your tongue gets twisted in the knock, don't blame me, blame the squirrel. Even though he's still cute to be blamed, you're off the hook, Mr. Squirrel. Now let's go ahead and look at the stats. So it's water element and the same thing. Okay, now let's go ahead and look at the next pet on our pet team. What is it? Drum roll, please. Is it a bit bot? What is it? I'm guessing it's a bit bot, but I don't know if there's anything else. Yeah, I'm guessing it's a bit bot. Let's go check for ourselves. This this awesome pet update is so cool, except for the burn newt. Well, the burn newt just a little bit cuter, I'm guessing. Okay, but let's get straight into it. Okay, guys, there's one more pet before the burn newt, the pocket. I mean, so sorry, there's one more pet before the bit bot, not the burn newt. It's this pocket. It has this giant chomper, like, kind of like a beetle, and it looks so ugly. And it has, like, this tail, which kind of looks more like a spout, like a water spout. Um, no, like, like, like the water spout, like, like the one that in your homes, if it rains too much, it comes out. Or it's like a straw, like if, like, um, it has like an extra mouth. If you, if it, if you pours water into it, it, it'll be able to drink. Isn't that so cool? Pocket would be so cool if it had that ability. If it could, like, um, go to a stream and, and, and without getting its face bitten off by a crocodile, or rather an amber shed, it's gonna stick its tail into the water, sip something up, and yummy. Okay, now let's go ahead and look at the description. Pockets are considered slow moving and skittish, spending most of the time hiding in their shells, which is not so big. And it has a lot more hearts than power. Very bad pet, unless you love pets with lots of hearts and less power. Plant almond pet evolves at level 26 into Claustro. Now, Claustro looks most like a lobster with those pinchers and those good old mindy fine. Um, back scuddly legs and the antennae and the extra eyes 
and but these eyes is hitting right here and it has a seashell as a tail wow and evolution of pocket and unlike pockets claustros are thought to be expressive and will chase aggressive and will chase away trespassers for hours and it's a plant element pet and once again same power same hearts okay next on our list is the bitbot which i've been awaiting so i don't want to spoil it but the bitbot looks like a pumpkin let's go ahead and check it out now i'm so excited okay guys so this is the bitbot so it's not very cute it just looks like this small ball with that got uh, sprouted legs and it's a two screwdrivers but it has this cute eye with because it's slanted eyes let's now let's read the description oh by the way before it used to be made of the expensive metal but now it's made of wood and rust and stuff it, i think it's like rusted copper or something the tiny bitbot is very social and tends to stay in large group to protect itself from predators has the same like same thing as the claustro plant element same thing i think they're like twins or something or like they're like partners and they evolves at level 15 into the bash bot which is this large coconut looking thingy oopsie sorry but this is this large coconut looking thingy with large arms kind of like this bash the kind of like the old bash bot and large henchy legs and bash bots are ill tempered and are easily annoyed in fact it is said that bash bots rarely get a along with one another and they're always or arguing wow i wouldn't be around i wouldn't want to be around when when the, the bash bot's arguing okay guys so here is the batter bot so it is mostly plant so it's see it's so old that they're doing plants is going on over here it looked like half orange half coconut whoopsie my mouth is going crazy today eeks so it looks kind of like an orange but it looks half coconut too over here, it has this, it looks like a robot, um, because it is a robot, but looks more like a classic human robot. Has algae growing, and had plant sprout growing from its head. Some algae on his shoulders. Ew. The massive batter bot may be, may be strong, but he is very slow and lazy. Most batter bots wait around for something interesting to happen, and then sleep the day away. Woohoo! That's probably one of the funniest descriptions I've ever heard. Okay, so same amount of um power and health all right guys so that was that so before we uh, end this video i'd like to do a few battles with the pets that i thought were interesting we're going to be doing a battle with the burn you and the ember shed we might also be doing a few more for surprise but let's go ahead and start off with the ember shed battle i'm so excited oh yeah Okay guys, I'm following the DD rule today. I have a Terrigan and an Ember Shed on my team. So the Ember Shed's in front and Terrigan and I are in the back chatting and sharing some um, but fire chips, well, they're, hopefully they won't burn me, but I can't eat potato chips because Terrigan apparently is vegetarian, well, at least he only he's a carnivore so but he also likes fire chips because they help his fire grow stronger and he doesn't have throat problems when he tries to breathe fire so i have to help accompany him because those don't taste too good so we have to help him he's just a baby after all baby tear again okay now let's get straight to the battle so i'm gonna be battling in the firefly forest you know fire is powerful against plant well that, i think that's true at least because um i've seen it happen oh by the way i changed eclipse and purple hair i don't want to die of boredom and somehow fashion is good says so if you are like six year old or three year old or you're not three year old but like five year old if you still watch my little pony which i don't i used to when i was little you know that that that'd be rarity's quote a little style couldn't harm in a while like um, mystery on the um, musical express or m m m mystery on the something express. I don't know. You must have seen that one probably. It was like some years ago. Okay, let's get started now. Here is the battle. I like that way the Emerson Prince is. He turns back his wings and runs. He kind of he kind of looks like a Skywing from Wings of Fire. Let's start off with Volcano. Honestly, I'm really excited to see how he attacks. Okay, I'm done solving that question. Okay, let's see how he attacks. So he like, actually like bends down to the ground, lifts its wing and like whinnies up and breathes out a burst of fire. I love the way he attacks. So cool. Oh yeah. Let's use Volcano to kill off the Scally. I love the Ember Shed. I bet you should keep him on the team every day. It does, he does a lot of damage too. Let's see how much damage he does again. 4,937 damage. Boom. He's dead. Oh yeah. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. I really like the Ember Shed. Okay, on to the next battle. The Burnute. Obviously. 
Okay, I'm gonna place the burning on my team and then we can get to the battle. And I really like how I'm speaking so fast right now. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, so I so okay, so I'm gonna place this pet on my team called the Burn You, which we which we saw together. So, and then after I do that, let's go ahead and go to a play go go to um one of one of these monsters, either this the Skelly or the Trip Trap. Eeny meeny miny mo. Okay, that's okay. Eeny meeny miny mo. Catch a tiger by its toe. If it hollers, let it go. My mom picks the very best one, and you are it. Okay, I knew the Trip Trap was gonna win anyway because it's so cute. And if you start with a person and you only have two players um the first person who starts always gets it always gets the big sorry mr scally but i'm gonna battle trip shop for first i'm gonna have to place the awesome burn on my team and then we can get to the battle and i might be thinking it might be the same exact thing well yeah because you know burn you and ember should have the same amount of power and health so let's just go ahead and just place him on my team and let's get straight to it all right guys let's get straight into it Come on, Mr. Trip Chop. Come, hop, hop, hop. Okay, so you came hopping. Thanks for listening to me. We're going to singe you up. Aw, the burn you's adorable. I suddenly had a change of view. And the burn you is adorable. I'm, I'm don't, I don't re regret that the product changed it anymore. It's so cute. Like, um, he just like <gasps> opens his mouth wide and then realized he can't breathe fire. And then pop, and then he burns himself up and the trip trap up too. Uh, well, why? At least he killed the trip drop. It doesn't matter if he burned himself up too. <laughs> I need breath. <sighs> I said it all in one breath. Ooh. Okay. Let's go ahead and use Volcano again. See how much damage it does? Which value is greater? Greater. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and solve this question. I'll be right back from solving it. Alright guys, so I'm done solving the question. I claim this is a really cool badge. Fractions and decimals. Okay. Okay, so the burn you opened his mouth again, realized he couldn't breathe fire like the, like his evolutions, and then just decided to burn, roast up the trip trap and himself too. Well, luckily, I managed to, managed to train baby bird you to how to not burn himself and roast himself to roast a lizard. Well, roast roast himself to roast a lizard. Wow, and and roast the opponent instead. Okay, let's claim this um treasure chest here. And all right, guys, so that's all for today. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. This awesome update video. I'm really glad a few of the updates Prodigy made. I just didn't get didn't like the Bitbot one or the Cloud Nibbler one. No, no, no regrets about the ember shed and the burden you and all the rest okay by the way guys i will reveal to you the hiding spot of the dragon first i'll give you a clue so you could pause the video right here after i tell you the clue or a hint it is in this section of my house this section i didn't hide it too hard you might spot it right away but for beginners who don't know what the dragon is the dragon is this little red creature which you can get from bonfire spire people ask in the comments how to get the little red dragon the, the little red dragon or just the dragon so you go to bonfire spire you go to the hot hot threads merchant and you go to the furniture you have to be a member to get it just press the buy button so here's here's what it looks like this stuffed dragon it has cute little things and this and it's this is a plush dragon toy and its skin is made from real ooh dragon hide i hope the hide doesn't doesn't include like the bottom part ew okay guys okay so i just revealed the hiding spot of the dragon i hope you guys did enjoy the battle and the video i can't wait to see you guys next time so long